Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I painted my brake calipers. Uh, this is my uh, Renault Megane 3 and uh, well these are my calipers. Uh, they have never been cleaned or painted before uh, and I'm going to show you how to do it uh, fast and cheap. I hope you enjoy the video and maybe get inspired to try it yourself. So I am going to do this one side at a time, the first step uh, being to remove the wheels, that already has been done, um, this is the, the caliper, the front one, it's uh, really dirty and uh, like burnt, this is the, the back wheel, also you can see it doesn't look really, really nice. Okay, so let's talk about some things we will need to do the job. We have here uh, some abrasive sponges, sandpaper, uh, wire brushes to clean them real good and remove any uh, loose parts from the cast. Before the actual painting, the surfaces will have to be cleaned with isopropyl alcohol. In my case, I have this solvent that is actually mostly isopropyl alcohol in composition. In my opinion, one of the most important parts of this process is to clean the part real good, mostly where the paint is going to be covered. Uh, so take your time and do a good job about it, it will show up in the end. You will want to be careful around all the plastic and the rubber parts such as seals or caps uh, so you don't puncture them. So this is the finished look after carefully cleaning the calipers. As you can see there is a huge difference already, look at them shine. I have to say it again as I stated before, I believe this is the most important part of the entire process. If you clean them right they will show it through the paint and it will look uh, really good. Now the next phase is to cover all the parts that we do not want to paint. For this I am going to use some plastic bags and some masking tape.
you can see I am almost done with this part too. You want to take your time if you have it and cover all the plastic and rubber parts such as caps and seals because you want the finished product to look as professional as possible. Uh, as you can see I have also covered the braking pads um, because they, they are black and the calipers are going to be red and I wanted this contrast between them not to have the same color. After all the covering is done and you're happy with it, uh, for the cleaning of the surfaces before painting them, I am using a brush to apply the isopropyl alcohol that uh, we discussed um, earlier. It's important because this also acts like a degreaser and uh, it helps the paint to stick. Now, while I wait for it to dry, I am just going to enjoy this beautiful sunny day, fresh air and silence of the countryside. Well, that didn't go as planned. Alrighty then, I, I guess I'll just get back to work. For the paint, you have to be careful and choose high temperature paint or heat resistant paint because otherwise it will not last long on the calipers. I mean, the one I chose actually has calipers on the product, so you know it's the right stuff. You want to use long and even strokes. Do not try to cover the part from the first coat. It is okay if the paint is see-through or the part isn't covered completely. This is my caliper after the first coat. You can see it's not perfect, but don't worry. In, in this case, less is more. The second and third layer will resolve this. After the first coat, leave it for about 10 minutes before applying the second one. Let's get on with the second layer. I have just applied the second layer. It already looks a lot better. You can see that the paint uh, starts to cover a little more and is not as transparent anymore. After another 10 minutes, you can apply the third and final layer. Well, I think they look great. Um, the third layer really covered all the imperfections and uh, make them look stunning, just like new. Leave it just like this for another 40 to 50 minutes for them to completely dry and you can start peeling off all the tapes and coverings. And now for the moment of truth, I guess. It's, uh, it's the fun part. <laughs> All this, uh, all these coverings of the caps and um, and the seals, the rubbers, uh, pay off at the end. You can see it does a huge difference if you if you pay attention and take the time to to cover it well.
So this is how they look guys. I am very pleased with the result. What do you think? Of course uh, I could have done maybe a better job. Uh, of course I could have probably used a primer before the paint or a clear coat after the paint. But this is just a video to show you a quick and easy um, paint for the calipers. And uh, it's uh, good enough and it will last. I am going to show you now some uh, sneak peeks from the other side. I did not film the entire process again because uh, I have done everything exactly the same. So this is the finished product. Wheels mounted and everything in its place. I think it looks awesome and it really changes the entire aesthetics of the car.
So this is how I painted my calipers. I hope you liked it. I'm gonna leave you with these uh, images here at the end of the video, sort of uh, before and after uh, and uh, different phases of the project. As I said, I hope you liked it. Maybe it got you inspired to try it yourself. So um, be sure to, to share and like. Thank you. See you in the next one. Bye.